Welcome back. This is the Touchline, and we are now speaking to the Deputy CEO, ISF World Schools Cross Country, Eli Dwambosh. He's here to shed light on this year's event, which Kenya will be the proud hosts on 12th of May. Karibu sana, Mr. Eliud. And of course, just as we've been saying all along, it's all the time is almost here. That's next week and when Kenya will be hosting this particular event. How yeah. ready is the country for uh, the schools, so the rest of the participants who will be here? Yes, uh, thank you. Um, uh, first, we want to say welcome to all the delegations that have confirmed participation in this uh, historical uh, event in the history of this country and the, uh, the world. Uh, being the second edition for World Cross Country for Schools. Uh, Kenya is very ready for this event, and uh, I want to say that um, uh, the local organizing committee under the leadership of the CEO, uh, Barnaba Koril, uh, as I deputize him, and our chairman for the LOC, uh, Hassan Duale, uh, is fully operational, and uh, uh, all systems are, uh, are in place to ensure that we provide um, a world-class uh, event uh, for, for the, the, the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, alongside the, the, the hosting of the event, um, Kenya is very ready to participate in this event mm -hmm. with uh, a contingent of 61 athletes mm -hmm. who are currently camping at um, uh, Watakatifu in uh, Mission mm -hmm. uh, in, in Gong, mm -hmm. uh, which is the same conditions for mm -hmm. the Gong race course where the event will be held. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I would, I would want to say that uh, we have three categories of, uh, that have been registered mm -hmm. for this event. Mm -hmm. We have the under 12, uh, under 15, and under 18 teams that are coming from all over the world. Mm -hmm. 22 countries have so far confirmed. Mm -hmm. A total of 460 athletes uh, that have uh, already been confirmed to participate. Uh, expecting more from uh, a few other countries uh, that uh, did not uh, accomplish registration. Mm -hmm. But uh, as we speak, uh, we have highlighted and uh, prepared all the venues, mm -hmm. and uh, the event will uh, be on the 12th mm -hmm. of, uh, of May, mm -hmm. that is on Sunday, mm -hmm. but prior to that, uh, all, must, all teams must have arrived in Kenya by 10th mm -hmm. of May, mm -hmm. and um, that is the day when the teams arrive, and um, on the 11th, the teams will be doing all the accreditations and um, uh, we, we will have lined up the team trainings at uh, Nairobi School, which is the training venue for all the countries, the teams that are participating. Mm -hmm. Our main venue for the event on 12th is the uh, Gong Race Course, which is very ready for us. Mm -hmm. uh, they only have a little challenge on, uh, because of the heavy rains, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. uh, the place is ready for us. Uh, we've suspended, uh, Gong Jockey Club has suspended all activities on the horse racing mm -hmm. to ensure that the venue is very ready for us mm -hmm. and is preserved for us. Mm -hmm. What remains is just to trim the grass mm -hmm. Uh, to a, a comfortable size, to mm -hmm. be able to accommodate the athletes. Mm -hmm. uh, some little mud, which is also a normal aspect with the, with the cross, cross country. country yes. uh, so uh, for us, we are saying our venues, all our venues are very safe and uh, very ready for us. Mm -hmm. um, we have made uh, all the necessary arrangements for arrivals for all delegations, mm -hmm. uh, right from the airport with the police escorts, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, expressway being the, the, the only route that the teams are taking mm -hmm. uh, from the airport direct to, to, the, to their hotels mm -hmm. and uh, to, with escorts to the training venues mm -hmm. and um, also to be able to access the venue mm -hmm. o o on the 12th mm -hmm. uh, of May. Mm -hmm. So um, the in terms of the, the loop where which uh, we shall use, yeah. the minimum distance will be one 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 thousand one hundred meters mm -hmm. uh, for the under twelve girls mm -hmm. because it's a it's a friendly run. Yes. So the children, uh, we, we have made sure that we have three loops mm -hmm. that uh, will 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 be able to address mm -hmm. the edges so that we don't tire the children mm -hmm. as they grow mm -hmm. and uh, show their talent prowess. So mm -hmm. the lowest would be one uh, one thousand one hundred meters. Mm -hmm. uh, the highest will be uh, five thousand. Uh, um, uh, 5,100 meters, under 18, yeah. that is the under 18 boys, mm -hmm. that is the maximum uh, loop that we are going to, to have. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the loops are ready, mm -hmm. we have sent all the aerial uh, ma maps to ISF, mm -hmm. uh, that is the International Schools Sports Federation, mm -hmm. and uh, they have approved all of them. Mm -hmm. We have done uh, two inspections by the international body so far, mm -hmm. and all our venues and hotels have been yes. approved mm -hmm. and certified, mm -hmm. uh, and we are ready uh, to host this event yes. uh, as a country. Yes. And yeah. how has these particular games been like a springboard for the emerging talents over the years? 
Um, I would say that this is a uh, this is the best uh, eye opener for this country mm -hmm. uh, towards the competence based curriculum mm -hmm. where talent is a pathway mm -hmm. uh, in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the, the some ages had been left behind mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. like the age of under 12, under 15. Mm -hmm. uh, usually we used to start at under 18, under 20. Mm -hmm. But now you can see we have gone down to tap the talent at under 12. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is uh, born 2013, mm -hmm. uh, can be able to run in a world championship. This has never happened mm -hmm. uh, in the history of this nation. Mm -hmm. And even for the world athletics, it's something that is really quite welcome, mm -hmm. so that we can be able to allow these children to identify their talent area mm -hmm. in very good time. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yes. that is in tandem with the, the competence-based curriculum under the Ministry of Education. Yes, and that's basically to say that the games have been able to help students balance education and sports. Yes, um, th basically what is most important here, being a pathway, mm -hmm. is that uh, we've moved from the academic angle mm -hmm. of only certificates where mm -hmm. you must get an A, you, you must go and become a lawyer, become a teacher, become a, um, a, a doctor. doctor. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, but now we are saying this soccer player, mm -hmm. this athlete can mm -hmm. be able to earn uh, a living. And mm -hmm. that is why we have the Talanda Hela, which is still a partnership with the Ministry of uh, uh, sports, Youth and yes. uh, Sports mm -hmm. and uh, the creative, uh, Creatives Economy, uh, yes. and the Ministry of Education mm -hmm. to be able to, to, to monetize mm -hmm. talent. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is uh, one of uh, our flagships for as a Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. yes. And of course, talking about the 61 athletes in camp for, for Team Kenya, and some of the key names are some of the athletes who've gone on to win a continental or world titles like uh, Joylene Chepkemoy, and as well as Adana Chepkemoy, who will be putting their, you know, they'll be online for, for titles in the schools uh, cross-country championship as well. Their presence in the team, uh, Elliot, how important is it to the rest of uh, the uh, athletes in camp? Um, th this is, this is um, actually having models within ourselves. Uh, as we present the Team Kenya, we are presenting amongst them some of the world beaters. Mm -hmm. uh, so the rest of the world should be able to know that uh, Kenya will present a very strong uh, front mm -hmm. uh, to be able to defend, um, because some of our athletes qualify for international assignments at a, at a young age. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, already we have some who have even come from Serbia mm -hmm. uh, for the world cross country. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Diana who was in uh, the, the world cross country in Serbia. Mm -hmm. uh, for the for the for the junior team mm -hmm. and um, this is something that is sending signals mm -hmm. that um, even even at that particular age mm -hmm. uh, you could still be able to identify uh, and be able to live your dreams mm -hmm. so it is it is in tandem with what we are anticipating mm -hmm. to be able to present as a country mm -hmm. and avoid this late sell by date mm -hmm. for our athletes and our players mm -hmm. as a minister of education mm -hmm. so that as we they graduate into elite, mm -hmm. then they, they already have identified mm -hmm. uh, the, the, their line of uh -huh. operation uh -huh. and maybe their destination uh -huh. in terms of talent. Uh -huh. yes. And among the countries that are there, Uganda and Ethiopia definitely obvious um, rivals for the titles on offer. Um, we, 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 we want to say that this is a competition uh, and as a country we have only prepared for, for the best mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we are not saying that uh, it is a clean sweep for as a country mm -hmm. but we want to say that we will present a strong front. Mm -hmm. um, Ethiopia have uh, yet to confirm mm -hmm. uh, their participation. Mm -hmm. They have been given uh, a solidarity offer by the ISF mm -hmm. but uh, I think they are still um, having uh, challenges in terms of registering mm -hmm. but Rwanda is here with us, uh, mm -hmm. Uganda is here with us for, from Africa Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we, we also have Morocco with us uh, among the, the African countries. Mm -hmm. And we, we really, as a Ministry of Education, want to appreciate the Federation of East Africa uh, Secondary School because mm -hmm. they have really come in to support this event mm -hmm. uh, as, as a front, mm -hmm. as a, the Eastern, uh, East African bloc. Mm -hmm. And this is something that uh, has given some spice to, to this event. Mm -hmm. yes. well, what would you say would be the legacy of uh, this year's championship, the second time in Africa and first time in Kenya? What kind of legacy does Kenya want to leave? on this championship that began in 70s? Yes, um, uh, for us, the, our, uh, our late entry into ISF uh, as a country, into ISF activities, mm -hmm. uh, is a blessing to us. Even uh, as, as we, uh, we, we host this event, mm -hmm. uh, Kenya is participating in other ISF World Championships, like we have soccer in China, mm -hmm. uh, which begins immediately after the, the World Cross Country that is being hosted here. Mm -hmm. Actually, the team for China will be leaving, and that is soccer for boys and girls, mm -hmm. will be leaving on the 17th of, of May, mm -hmm. immediately after this event, mm -hmm. uh, to participate in the World Cup for schools mm -hmm. in, in, in China, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, a two-week event mm -hmm. uh, hosted by ISF. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's, um, it's the, the highest entry mm -hmm. into the highest level mm -hmm. uh, as a country to participate 
participate as schools. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. And also looking at maybe uh, the age categories, what ma majorly influenced uh, the, to decide uh, the, under f the introduction of the new category, let's say the under 12? Um, the, the, the influence that came in, okay, I would say one, this is a, the policy by ISF, mm -hmm. the International Schools Federation, uh, to come in and be able to identify the various categories uh, so that we now bridge the gap between kids athletics mm -hmm. and the real athletics. Mm -hmm. So the lower level of uh, under 12 mm -hmm. now, uh, below the category that is participating, mm -hmm. they are now participating in kids athletics, mm -hmm. which is still is, a, is the lowest level mm -hmm. where the children now interact with very friendly materials mm -hmm. like adults which are, which are just um, collapsible um, um, infrastructure mm -hmm. so that the children can also train on uh, the orientation as they come to, 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 to participate. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is a coming down to be able to reach out and have access mm -hmm. uh, for talent mm -hmm. at the, the best age mm -hmm. uh, as, as a country. Yes, indeed. And we've seen some of the uh, Kenya's uh, future stars beginning maybe middle distance and even as well as the long beginning with the cross country. You know, we talk about uh, the current world champion, that's 1500 meters, uh, Faith Chepunyetich, who began as a 12-year-old, 13-year-old in the cross country running barefoot. And here she is, a world beater right now. What kind of image does this draw for you when you look at to, uh, this year's championship at that level? Yeah, it, it, is, it, is, it is very inspiring. Um, and uh, we've lined up um, some media conference for those young athletes mm -hmm. to also be able to, to, to speak mm -hmm. on behalf of the other athletes mm -hmm. uh, before everyone so mm -hmm. that uh, we also tell them that in terms of communication, apart from talent, mm -hmm. first we are saying that as you train, you must be mm -hmm. in school. And that is one of our policies. Mm -hmm. We must be in school, mm -hmm. and this is purely a, a, a championship for students mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. And we are very categorical that there is nobody who can participate in this championship unless you are in school. Mm -hmm. And you have a UPI number mm -hmm. uh, under the chemist system of the Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. and you must be in the that age category. Mm -hmm. So we have been very strict on uh, in uh, eligibility mm -hmm. of participation. Mm -hmm. And nobody is running in a different category. You mm -hmm. must run in your category mm -hmm. so that we safeguard uh, the, the, the issue of mm -hmm. young ones uh, over age and mm -hmm. under age issues. Mm -hmm. So we are, as a ministry, it's a policy and um, that one we have, we have really tried to ensure that even the team that uh, will be presented by Kenya uh -huh. was fully vetted uh -huh. uh, by the Youth Subcommittee uh -huh. of Athletics Kenya uh -huh. uh, team to uh -huh. make sure that uh, we have the right ages participating. Yes, indeed, so that you spot the best talent at the right age Yes, yeah, and give them a head start when it, they all deserve. And talking about exposing the young ones to the media, that's the wholesome development, right? Mm. Yes. The, how important is that? Um, the, 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 the sports is a, it's a best in uh, economic uh, development. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a country, we are buying in that uh, export of talent mm -hmm. to be able also to support the Kenyan economy. Mm -hmm. And um, this is one of the measures, even in our curriculum, the, the competence-based curriculum, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the stress is more on production. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is, it's about... Um, once we monetize the talent, mm -hmm. uh, we will also be reducing on job opportunities mm -hmm. uh, whereby these people become self-employed and uh, they are able to earn a living from, the, from their sports. Mm -hmm. They will not go to look for jobs. Mm -hmm. We are also saying that uh, our talent, is uh, most of our um, disciplined forces mm -hmm. are, are, are really opening up for the talented particularly the athletes, uh, the, 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 the KDF, the Kenya Defense Forces, mm -hmm. the National Police Service, mm -hmm. the Kenya Prisons, the KWS, mm -hmm. uh, they are really offering uh, uh, opportunities mm -hmm. for graduates from our schools mm -hmm. who have shown uh, seriousness in, in talent areas. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the areas that we are really keen about to have the exit strategy for our children. So that, and we are also working very hard with the, the Kenya Academy of Sports mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that um, transition from secondary school, uh, mm -hmm. particularly in Form 4, they will get uh, a place to be able to network and yeah. pro pro proceed with their talent. Yes, that's scholarships, right? That yes, are being yes, offered. Uh, the talent-based scholarships. The yes. Nice one, yes. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're looking at not only sports that will be cast, this particular event casts Kenya into the spotlight of the globe, right? And maybe what are the other opportunities for the visiting countries? What kind of image does Kenya want to uh, leave them with? The yes, visiting uh, countries. Yes, um, one we are saying welcome to Kenya, the land of Akuna Matata. Mm -hmm. That is one of the the issues that we are saying, and uh, 
one of the things that we, as a ministry of education and the local organizing committee and as a country, uh, one, we want to appreciate that uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya has offered to be the chief guest of the, of the event. That is the highest uh, respect one can get um, as a ministry, and we are not taking it for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are saying that uh, the teams upon arrival, these teams will be taken to, we have made arrangements to the National mm -hmm. Park uh, for every child mm -hmm. who comes to this country and any delegation they will be able to be able to visit, have a game drive within the National Park, mm -hmm. and uh, thereafter we shall be able to lead them into Bomas of Kenya, mm -hmm. where the cultural heritage mm -hmm. how is housed for this nation, mm -hmm. and uh, we shall even have a, a nation's um, fun run, mm -hmm. which, which will be a torch mm -hmm. for, for all the, 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 the visiting countries, mm -hmm. and we have come up with very innovative um, relay buttons mm -hmm. that are Maasai uh, coated uh -huh. to ensure Depicting that Kenyan uh, culture, uh, yeah. and um, everyone, we would want everyone to be in the Maasai um, lesser uh -huh. for, for them to be able to feel Kenyans uh -huh. uh, as, as they, they, they do the cultural exchange. Uh -huh. So al alongside the, 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 the event yes. on 12th, uh -huh. on 13th we have a cultural day uh -huh. at uh, Bomas of Kenya uh -huh. where all the visiting countries will exchange uh -huh. on cultural issues uh -huh. alongside educational issues. Uh -huh. Our children will be able uh -huh. to mingle and uh -huh. exchange uh -huh. ideas and even do performances based on their countries mm -hmm. so that we can uh, we can be also to able to, to build on mm -hmm. uh, the interactions and the, the bonding mm -hmm. uh, and open uh, networks for mm -hmm. our children mm -hmm. even to be able to have friends in other countries yes indeed and uh, mm -hmm. as you show them what Kenya has to offer apart from uh, uh, the what will be happening on the sidelines uh, that's at the cross country I'm very sure that they'll, they all know the history of Kenyan athletics that's an advantage to the Kenyan team that will be participating right they already have a head start yes. this is a home of the world beaters yes. how does that present Kenya's image ahead of the championship does, uh, does it scare them uh, uh, well we, we would not want to scare everyone uh, to we are telling them come we compete uh, they will be able to give us feedback uh, but uh, Kenya is known to be the source and the home of champions mm -hmm. and, and that's why um, when when we, when it comes to the, uh, cross country mm -hmm. it is a, it is it's a, it's a, it's a speciality mm -hmm. uh, for this nation yes indeed yeah. parting shot mr Elliot, as we wind up what would be yes, your parting uh, shot yes uh, parting shot i wanted to say that uh, we want to welcome all kenyans to come and support uh, their children mm -hmm. uh, on the 12th mm -hmm. uh, at gong uh, race course mm -hmm. and um, gram in great numbers because uh, basically we are welcoming the whole world here mm -hmm. and i want to confirm that uh, we have done all the reservations for the hotels ibis hotel in westlands is the main hotel for the all the participants mm -hmm. uh, and the mature hotel crown plaza that is in uh, upper hill and um, Weston becomes mm -hmm. the championship hotel for mm -hmm. the local organizing committee and the ISF mm -hmm. uh, to be able to be sure mm -hmm. that we have provided the best facilities mm -hmm. uh, for, for the delegations mm -hmm. to be able to enjoy their being here. Mm -hmm. So Nairobi is, um, uh, to me and to us, um, even as we talk, all the technical <coughs> teams are on the ground mm -hmm. and it is work in progress. Mm -hmm. The event organizer, uh, the Colazo, uh, are on site to mm -hmm. make sure that the venues at Gong Race Course, mm -hmm. Bombers of Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, Nairobi School for the training of the teams. Mm -hmm. uh, they are up and uh, uh, up to speed uh -huh. in terms of this. The, we, we are expecting the, the, the first delegation uh -huh. uh, led by the president of ISF, mm -hmm. uh, Laurent, mm -hmm. uh, to arrive on the 7th, mm -hmm. uh, and the two technical delegates, uh, Nihat and uh, Olabisi, Olab uh, mm -hmm. Joseph from mm -hmm. Nigeria, mm -hmm. to be here to be able to support the local organizing committee mm -hmm. on the final setups uh, in the readiness for this. Yes, indeed. Well spoken, Mr. Eli Dombo, the deputy CEO of the ISF World Schools Cross Country Championship, our guest on the touchline today. Thank you so much. Remember that the 12th of May, Kenya will be hosting the World Schools Cross Country Championship. Thank you so much, Mr. Elud, for making your time and all the best during and after the event. And I understand that KBC Channel might be the broadcasting the event live, so stay tuned on KBC. Thank you so much, Mr. Ombua. Proud of KBC. Thank you. <laughs> I hope yeah. to see you after the event as well. Thank you. Right? Yeah. Uh, come and tell us whether you dominated all the top 10 positions and left the rest with nothing, right? <laughs> yes, we will be able to articulate that to the team that is participating. <laughs> Thank you very much. Coming up with Dandora Gentos right up next. Keep watching the touchline.